Have you ever wondered what your flirting style says about you? Or maybe how your personality affects how you flirt? Well, researchers Hall, Carter, Cody, and Albright wanted to assess how people communicated their romantic or sexual interests to a potential partner in a 2010 research study. They had participants answer a questionnaire and gathered information on the subject's personalities as well, comparing the information. Here are the results of the five flirting styles and how they could relate to one's personality. Which flirting style do you have? Number one, playful. Are you a playful flirt? Those who often playfully flirt see it as something that's fun. They wanna joke and tease their potential partner. Extroverts are more likely to playfully flirt. Researchers also found that those who often only playfully flirt were less agreeable and less conscientious. Dr. Jeremy Nicholson, a doctor of social personality psychology, explains in his Psychology Today article that playful flirts tend to have a don't care and all or nothing type of approach to dating. Therefore, they first need to be able to cope with interpersonal rejection, which will inevitably result from their more playful and outrageous behaviors. Number two, sincere. What if you like to create an emotional bond with someone before testing out your flirting skills? As a sincere flirt, you like to make your potential partner feel comfortable first before you make your move. You show sincere interest and value a deeper connection with them. Women were found to have scored higher in this type of flirting. Men did use this flirting style as well. If you're very agreeable and conscientious, you'll likely use this flirting style more. Extroverts also use this style as well as playful flirting. In the 2010 study, dating success was found through sincere, playful, and physical flirting styles. Nicholson suggests that sincere flirts can become more successful by focusing on building a positive personality and developing their uniquely attractive traits and skills. He also recommends making good eye contact and practicing reading others' body language. Number three, traditional. Are you a traditional flirt? Traditional flirts often stick to gender-specific roles. Perhaps you're at a party. This could be the woman showing someone she likes them by showing interest through flirty eye contact across the room. The man would then often make the first move by talking to her. The study found that introverts often flirted this way. They also found men who flirted traditionally often already knew their potential partner before flirting this way. Those who flirt this way are often looking for commitment. Those who use this style often have a hard time getting dates and creating many deep relationships. Although some benefited from taking things slow in their relationships and letting them form over time. Number four, physical. Do you flirt by subtly touching others and displaying open body language? This type of flirting shows sexuality and interest through nonverbal behaviors. Many people were found to often have great chemistry and emotional connection when they flirt this way. Relationships are often developed faster this way as well. Extroverts often use this flirting style and were found in the study to be moderately agreeable and conscientious. Nicholson's suggestion for this type of flirting to succeed? He suggests that learning to be confident and curious rather than anxious can assist the physical flirt in creating a smooth and passionate interaction. And number five, polite. Are you more polite when you approach your crush? Polite flirts are often moral and cautious in their flirting to avoid embarrassing themselves or out of fear of rejection. They have great manners and approach, as the name suggests, politely. They're interested in commitment, so they often clearly share what they want in a partner when appropriate. Polite flirts are often introverts. They also often have a hard time getting dates with potential partners, but the few relationships they have are very deep, emotional, and meaningful to them. So, how do you flirt? And what does it say about you? Which ones do you often use? Are you trying to find a new flirting style? Feel free to share with us in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend, or maybe a crush. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content like this. And before we go, we'd also like to mention that there has been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we're so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Stay tuned, and thanks for being a part of our journey. See you next time.